Constellations, a group of stars that form recognizable patterns in the night sky. In total, our skies are divided into 88 constellations, 44 of which were recorded by Greek astronomer Claudius Ptolemy. These constellations have roots stemming as far back as early Mesopotamia. But what are constellations used for? In the past, ancient people worshipped the stars. Their positions told stories. The stars offered guidance. Acting as a calendar, the positions of the stars helped ancient people determine the proper time of year to sow or harvest. These constellations made patterns easier to remember. For example, when Orion is fully visible, this is a sign of the coming winter. Likewise, the position of the summer triangle is a sign of the nearing summer. As the centuries passed, constellations became less associated with their origin story. Instead, they were more useful as a tool for navigating. Determining the position of a particular star helped determine one's position on Earth. However, the process of locating a particular star can be somewhat difficult. So, in 1922, the IAU formed constellation boundaries. These boundaries divided the sky into types of territories, making it easier to discuss and, above all, navigate the night sky. For example, to locate the Crab Nebula, an astronomer would start by locating a recognizable area in the sky. From here, the astronomer doesn't have to look far for the Taurus constellation. Following the imaginary lines that form the bowl leads the astronomer to the Crab Nebula's location. Techniques like this one have helped astronomers and ancient sky watchers for many centuries. Today, many don't get the opportunity to experience the stars as our ancestors did. Any information we could acquire from the stars is already at the palm of our hands. But the stars and constellations are still there, waiting for us to rediscover them.